Okay guys, I'm starting out this DIY by going to Lowe's and picking up some round wooden disc to make my charcuterie board. I think I'll choose this small one for my daughter and then I'll get a larger one for myself. Okay guys, so this is what I chose. And like I said before, I'm gonna use the smaller one to make a charcuterie board for my daughter. And then I'm going to use this larger one to make one for myself. So let's get started on this DIY project. I'm starting out with a cup of coffee, guys. It's not for me to drink, but I'm gonna use this coffee to actually help stain my wood just a little bit. I'm also going to use this coconut oil to cure it after I've stained it with the coffee. So let's make some coffee. You can use any coffee that you choose. There's really no rhyme or reason to it. You can also use tea if you prefer to use that as well. Okay guys, now that I have my coffee made, I'm just gonna take a clean rag and I'm going to begin to rub the coffee on my piece of wood. Now guys, I'm just gonna continue doing this and repeat this process and in between each layer, I'm gonna let it dry and then I'll put on another layer. And you just continue doing this until it's the color that you want. Now guys, I'm not sure, but I'm thinking the darker the coffee or the darker the tea, then the darker your wood and the number of times that you put a layer on it. But I'm not 100% sure of that because I'm doing this process for the first time myself. Now, this process is not going to give you the look that you would get if you used a wood stain, but I'm liking what I'm coming up with so far. And now that I've let that dry, I'm going to go in with the coconut oil to give it that sheen and that shine and to cure my wood. Now my process is I'm gonna cover it with coconut oil and wipe off the excess and then do another layer of coconut right, guys, oil. So I got my um, charcuterie board stained the way I want it to. I don't know if the light will do it any justice, but I'll try and do a close up. It turned out really nice. This one is a really big one. I also did a smaller one for my daughter. Um, but anyway, I let it dry and so now I'm getting ready to lay everything out on I the, love this. I think it turned out really nice. The coconut oil um, and then the smell of the coffee and um, it just it just turned out really, really nice and I'm gonna enjoy using this. I'll probably go back and get a smaller wooden disc for myself like the one that I did for my daughter um, just because I won't always do a charcuterie board this big. Sometimes I would wanna do a small one. But let me show you some of the things that I got for the charcuterie board. So um, I picked these up during the fall and I actually got these from Hobby Lobby and they were $9.99 and they, um, I don't think they were on sale. They may have been half off for the fall stuff, but these are cheese knives and I got it. And the reason that I stopped at the color of my board is because the color, ooh, let me hold it up again the color is really close to my cheese knives. And so I thought that, but I also like the contrast and I also picked these up and I picked these up from the Target dollar spot, you guys. These are cheese knives as well. And I paid $3 for this set and I love them. The wood is darker for this set and I like the contrast. So I have those. And then I also have my little, um, um, 
dish. I cannot think. I can't think. I can't talk. I can't do anything tonight. But anyway, I picked up these little ramekins. And I don't remember where I picked. I think I may have gotten these from Ross. Um, and they were under $10. But I have three of these that I'll use um, for my charcuterie board as well. Now, as far as the foods that you want to put on your charcuterie board, you can be really technical about it. You can Google. There are some really good sites that tell you about charcuterie boards and what you should put on them. It always includes a variety of crackers. You can put breads on your charcuterie board. Of course, it always includes cheese and meat. What makes a charcuterie board a charcuterie board, because if you only use cheese, if you're vegetarian or vegan and you then it's a cheese board but when you incorporate meat it becomes a charcuterie board i think i'm right on that because I, I did some research but it always consists of the meats the cheeses again unless you are vegan or vegetarian and you don't eat meat or you may eat meat but you just want a cheese board um it includes the fruits and vegetables it includes also um pickles olives um, it includes jams and jellies and honey and I did order some honey from Amazon that has the honeycomb in it but I'm not going to use that for this particular charcuterie board and so let me just show you some of the things so I got a variety of crackers um, and I'll, you know, I just, for Memorial Day weekend, we will spend time out by the pool. And so I just want, you guys saw in my last video, my pool, um, refresh. And so just want to have some things to go out and I'll do a nice refreshing punch, um, that I'll do. And so anyway, but I just got, and you can choose whatever you want to go on it. There is no, you have to do it this way. You can choose the types of crackers that you want, the types of meats, the types of cheeses that you want. But I did get a variety of crackers. I got wheat thins because my husband likes wheat thins. And then I got these um, original um, crackers here. They're kind of like a stone ground cracker, but they're by Breton, I think is the name of the company. But I got, the, I got these, these are just the original ones. And then I got the stone wheat thins because I really like these. My mom used to get that cheese ball from Pepperidge Farm when I was growing up. And we used to always have these types of crackers with it. And I, I love the um, stone wheat. I like that little bit of crunch that you get. And so I got these. And then I also got, these are just the great value ones, but they're rosemary crackers. And I love the taste of rosemary so I got those because I thought that would go really well and then I got the black pepper ones the um, sea salt and black pe black pepper cannot talk the sea salt and black pepper ones I got those and um, you always want to make sure like I like to have that little bit of sweet and that little bit of savory on my charcuterie board so I got that then I also picked up as far as pickles and olives and and um, jams. I picked up just these sweet jerkin. So I picked up those. And then I also picked up these antipasta olives and um, just really seasoned olives. That'll be really good. It'll give me that salty to go with the sweet. And then I got this cherry ancho chili chutney here. And I picked this up from Walmart. And so that's going to be really good. Spread that on a cracker. You have your sweet and then you can put your pepper jack cheese or one of your savory cheeses and your meat. And so now let me go over with you the other items. So I picked up trays. It's already cut up for me and done. I don't have to do the work. So I cheated a little bit. You can cut it up your own, but hey, if you can find it somewhere where it's already done for you, then go for it. So I picked up this cheese tray and I have some Gouda. I have some Munster, I have cheddar, I have um, just Swiss cheese, and then I have another one where I have some pepper jack cheese in it, and um, so these are my cheese choices. Again, you can pick out any choice of cheeses that you would like. Then here in this tray, I have some um, ham, and I have turkey, I have some hard salami, let me see if you can see it. I have some hard salami in there. Got some grapes. And then in this tray, again, I have more grapes, but I also have some sliced apples. 
some strawberry, some cantaloupe, some watermelon. So that's going to be some pineapple and some honeydew melon. So we're going to have that. And then for my veggies, I picked up this one and I have some celery and I have broccoli and then I have some cherry tomatoes, some sliced cucumber, um, some cauliflower, some carrots, and then I have some ranch dressing. So those are the food items that I'm going to use for this Memorial Day charcuterie. Okay, guys, so before I start putting the food on the charcuterie board, I did want to tell you that my reason for using the coconut oil and the coffee was because I wanted to use um, something that was going to be safe to consume because I, it, for obvious reasons, we're putting food on the charcuterie board. And I didn't want to use uh, like a regular stain. Um, it would be been nice to get a deeper color and the more times the more you actually rub the the coffee or tea you can use tea as well um the darker it gets but like i said i stopped at this color because i like the contrast between these two colors and my charcuterie board turned out that color and i like the contrast of this color and i'll probably be displaying it um you know here on my behind my stove and I have some darker and some lighter boards and I just thought it would be nice. So anyway, enough of that blabbering, blabbering on. I was gonna personalize it, but with the, with the um, coconut oil, my vinyl won't stick to it. So I would have to do a stencil. So um, I'll probably go back and do a stencil on it. Uh, but for now, I just want to leave it as it is so if I ever do go back and do a stencil then I will definitely um, let you guys have a peek at that but now you guys let's do the food let me show you I'm gonna let you see a close-up of how it turned out and then we'll do the food so guys I love the color I, I love the sheen I love seeing all of the wood grain I really like the way it turned out I'm really happy with it hey guys so I'm starting by placing my cheese and I'm just going to strategically place the cheese on opposite sides and like I said you can get whatever look you are going for and it doesn't there's no it's just whatever makes you happy so that's what we're going to do here we are going to place these cheeses so that this looks nice and you can do it any way you want to do it so you just want to layer your cheese and I may go in and change some of this as I'm going along but we'll play with it and see how how it goes so I'm just gonna continue I'm getting hungry just doing this so anyways guys I am going to just finish doing this and I'm gonna play some music and let you guys enjoy watching me put this charcuterie board together Okay guys, so now I'm just going in and I'm adding my cheese knives to make it easy for my family to select their cheese. And yeah, this charcuterie board turned out nicely. And for an added touch, you guys, I'm showing you that I made these little flags that have toothpicks on them. And I'm just going to go put these in all over the charcuterie board so that it looks more festive for Memorial Day. And now let's have a look at my finished DIY charcuterie board for Memorial Day.
Well guys, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If this is your first time coming to my channel, welcome. I would love it if you would subscribe. If you are a faithful subscriber, welcome back. I'm just so thankful for each and every one of you and I appreciate you so much. I enjoy talking with you in the comments section and I enjoy the positivity and the love and the good vibes. And so keep it coming, you guys. I really enjoy you. Um, I just want to, again, say that I hope you were inspired by this video to just create a charcuterie board of your own it can be of your liking and whatever you prefer um, you don't have any rules that you have to follow it can be a charcuterie board of any of your favorites the important thing is just enjoying the time that you have to share it with those you love you guys don't forget it's all the little things in life that bring us the sweetest prettiest little pre pleasures I love you guys, and thanks for watching. I'll see you next week, guys. Be blessed, and happy Memorial Day to those who are celebrating it. We'll see you next week, guys. Bye-bye.